Hello everyone! Today in art class we are going to be designing some mugs of hot chocolate filled with our favorite toppings and decorated with lots of interesting patterns. For today's activity you're going to need a piece of paper and this could be white paper or if you don't have white paper you could just use regular lined notebook paper. You're also going to need a pencil and a marker to trace your lines as well as something to color with and this could be crayons, this could be color pencils, this could be markers, anything that you have will work. So let's gather our materials and get started. To start out, I have my paper standing up vertically, nice and tall like a building, and like always, I'm going to begin by putting my name down at the bottom of my paper. I'm going to start with the top part of my mug. To do this, I'm going to be making an oval. I'll use my hand to measure. I'm going to start at about the bottom of my hand if I stick my hand up at the top of the paper. And I'm going to make an oval that goes around. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. From there, I'm going to be making a big curved line, kind of like a giant letter U that goes from one side to the other. I'm going to start and end on the very edges of my oval. If you want to make your mug more of a rectangle shape or more of a curvy shape, that's fine as well. Next, I'm going to add the handle for my mug. So on one side, I'm going to make a small curved line. And then I'm going to add another curved line that's a bit bigger. I'm also going to include my background line and that's going to help make sure that it doesn't look like my mug is floating in space. It'll look more like it's sitting on a table or some other kind of surface. So starting on one side of my paper, I'm going to go across until it touches the mug, pretend to keep going, and then finish the line on the other side. So this will be my table. Next, I'm going to add a curved line inside of the mug that will help make it look like it's filled with hot chocolate. So, starting on one side, I'm going to copy this top curve here a little bit lower. I'm also going to add some lines on my mug to help split it up into different sections that I will be filling with different patterns. Just like this line was a copy of this top one here, now we're going to be copying this lower curved line. So I'm going to go about halfway down my mug and make this line again. And I'm going to do that one more time above the middle line and below the middle line. This way, I'll be able to fit four different patterns inside of my mug. Before I start my patterns, I'm going to continue by adding on different toppings, and these could be anything. You might want to add things like marshmallows, or candy canes, or chocolate, or whipped cream. The possibilities are endless and totally up to you. I think I'm going to add some whipped cream to mine. I need to make sure that I erase this extra line so it doesn't look like my whipped cream is see-through. And I think I'll add a candy cane. Make it a peppermint hot chocolate. And of course, I don't want my candy cane to look see-through, so any of the parts of the cup or the whipped cream that should be behind it, I'm going to erase. And I think the last thing I'll add is some mini marshmallows. To make the mini marshmallows, all you do is draw a small oval a line on each side, and a curved line on the bottom that matches this top curve.
Okay. You can also add things to the table if you want to add extra little treats or candies, that's up to you. I think I would like to add some cookies to have with my hot chocolate. Once you finish designing all of the objects on and around your hot chocolate mug, it's time to add some patterns. On this handout, you'll find lots of different patterns that you can use to decorate your mugs of hot chocolate. You can choose any of these that you like. They don't have to be from different columns or rows. Any that you decide that you want to include, you may. You can also combine some patterns or change them if you would like to. And of course, we know that patterns are anything that repeats. So you could create your own patterns. You don't have to use the ones that you see on this handout. If you would like to use these ones, I have included this handout again at the end of the video so you can pause it and keep it up on the screen while you work. Each of the stripes on your hot chocolate mug should be filled up with a different pattern. Once you've finished drawing all of the different patterns and details on your mug of hot chocolate, it's time to take your marker and begin tracing. Make sure that you trace all of your lines so they're nice and dark and easy to see. If you don't have a black marker, you can use any dark colored art supply. It could be a black crayon or colored pencil, or if you don't have black, I would choose a dark color such as purple or blue so that your lines will stand out. Now that I'm done tracing, it's time to color. All right, everyone, so I have finished my hot chocolate artwork and I really, really like the way that it came out. Remember, think about using a variety of patterns and colors and shapes in your artwork. You're welcome to use the patterns that are on the handout or of course you can create your own patterns if you like. Think about different kinds of toppings that you'd like to add to your hot chocolate in order to make them something interesting and unique. Remember, please keep your artwork in your backpack for next week so that when I come back, we can take a look at them together. I really cannot wait to see them. I am super excited to see the beautiful artworks that you guys create this week, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. See you next time.